Welcome to Data Cloud Now. Some exciting news coming out of Snowflake around Snowflake Connector for ServiceNow moving into public preview. I'm joined today by Sonny Betty, CIO and CDO of Snowflake. Sonny, great to have you back on the program. To start with, why was it so important for Snowflake to champion this effort and what impact does ServiceNow data have for IT leaders? Yeah, thanks Ryan for having me over. Um, Look, ServiceNow is a very critical application for the IT organization. It, in essence, is the ERP application for all of IT data and security professionals, not just at Snowflake, but in the industry. So the business processes and workflow automation that is powered by ServiceNow touches many different facets of how IT is operated. For example, all the ticketing system is captured inside ServiceNow. All the change management associated with IT systems is managed inside ServiceNow. The inventory of all the applications and endpoints, which we call it CMDB, is also captured in ServiceNow. So we're talking about a wealth of information that sits in ServiceNow workflow uh, and the data associated with it has to be correlated with other sources uh, to really drive incredible outcomes. So Connector is at the heart of how that data comes inside the data cloud platform, like in Snowflake. And uh, we've been working on this for a couple of years now, and I'm super excited that we're in public preview now. You know, Sonny, it's great to have your perspective as CIO because you're able to see the direct impact that this is having on processes on a day-to-day -day basis. But I have to ask, why is it so important to have the ServiceNow data natively in Snowflake? Yeah, so it's, it's a beautiful solution. With having this being in, natively in Snowflake, you get the following benefits, right? First, cost. You don't require any additional tools that are involved in ingestion of this data. So you get a check mark on cost. Second, speed. This is, uh, speed matters right. in everything we do, right? And so uh, having this inside the native application, you're basically uh, getting you know, real-time latency on it, you know, near real-time. So again, check mark on speed. Third, security and governance. So if you think about security and governance, now because it's in the native app itself, you don't really have to worry about a third-party tool involved in it, third-party governance that has to be put on top of making sure that the ingestion is happening. You get a check mark on that because with Snowflake governance and security, this is already embedded in it. Fourth, reliability and quality. Uh, this comes in with the observability that we, we, you know, we're, we're going to give you, the monitoring that we're going to give you, so you don't have to invest in that additional observability that has to be invested in ingesting that data. And then finally, perform, fifth is performance at scale. And Having this in again in the native app, you're basically you know driving performance at scale, and it's happening on demand. You're not basically dialing up or down. It's happening you know on demand. Well, I absolutely love it, Sonny. To your point, it sounds like it's checking every box off here. You know, but I have to ask, how is your team internally putting this wealth of data to work? And as you know, I'm a visual person. Can you walk me through it? Yeah, absolutely. So look now. We, we spoke about the connector and how seamlessly that connector brings the data inside Snowflake. Right. Now we have the data there. Now we want to turn that data into information. We want to turn that data into insights. And we felt that one of the t biggest items for the IT organization was to ensure that we give employees an incredible user experience. Uh, so we built an app called Snow UX. And what this app does is it basically takes data from ServiceNow, powered through our connector, powered through a streamlit technology, which is you know, the, a company that we acquired last year. And what it does is it takes also data from Workday, and it tries to really give us insight on how the user experience is felt by the end users from IT for every single ticket that we create in the company. All of them? All of them. So wow. we, we roughly do like 8,500 to 9,000 tickets a month. So wow. imagine like now we're having a machine learning app built on Streamlit, Snow UX, that's measuring every single ticket and providing 
insights on which business processes are not fully automated that require automation because it's resulting in a bad user experience, or which applications inherently are problematic that require you know, re-engineering or whatever it might be. So Snow UX has provided us a tremendous amount of insight and I think the information that it has given us is allowing us to operationally be really world-class in servicing our end users and how they actually experience IT. And it sounds like you can go pretty granular with it. You know, is it kind of by department to department? Yeah, so I think we also felt that every um, experience that you know, the IT organization provides uh, cannot be like standard right. solution. <laughs> Everyone's everybody, unique, right? exactly. So like, like the finance organization have a set of applications that are different than the sales organization. And I felt, we truly felt that we had to bring the data um, in, in a manner that gets correlated with Workday because that's where all the cost centers are, right. and then really provide uh, a personalized user experience that's that's uh, you know variable between different departments, uh, and and we've been able to uh, tremendously improve the score um, from where we were like two years ago than where we are today. An exciting next chapter, Sonny. You know, last time we spoke, we discussed what's top of mind for most CIOs, and and that's cost in a hyper competitive economic, tough economic environment. From your standpoint, can you elaborate how these apps are helping drive value and, and allow your team to rationalize these apps and at the end of the day, find cost efficiencies? Yeah, absolutely. So last, last time we spoke, we talked spoke about Snow Patrol, right. which is again an app we built, um, leveraging a lot of data from ServiceNow. That, that and other sources, right. um, Okta, et cetera, that, that app, was developed with a promise of license optimization. Uh, but we didn't want it to stop at there, right? We, we also wanted to have an app that we would allow us to rationalize and prioritize, our, do we have the right set of applications in the company? So um, again, we're going back to the problem statement. We have a lot of applications in the company. Uh, all those applications inventory is captured in CMDB module of ServiceNow, but it's incomplete if it doesn't get correlated with other sources and have a framework on how do you rationalize which applications are doing well, which applications require re-engineering, which applications maybe are targeted for end of life, and which applications maybe are targeted for consolidation. So we build this app called Snow Pulse, which takes data again from ServiceNow and other sources and it has four vectors that we look at. It looks at security and compliance vector, and it gives a score for the security and compliance, how well is this app being managed from a security and compliance perspective. It looks at cost, and it looks like, you know, it looks like are you really optimizing it for cost and, and utilization of, of that app? Third, it looks at user experience. Does this app really provide an incredible user experience or not? And why not? And gives a score for that. And then finally, the fourth vector that it looks at is business criticality. Is this app part of business continuity? Is it part of that? Is it part of SOX? And so when you look at all those four dimensions, you look at security compliance, you look at cost, you look at user experience, you look at business criticality, collectively, it gives a score, zero right. to five five being the best, zero being the worst. And you know it's amazing when you measure the right stuff, you drive amazing outcomes. And this is the same thing is happening with this. Now we have all our application owners in our applications team you know, making it competitive by looking at all these scores and saying, is this the right app that we need? And it's starting to rationalize the process on, should we consolidate these apps? Should right. we take more leverage from this app that we're not getting value for it? should be end of life this app and potentially go to a newer platform. So again, just looking at CMDB data, um, it's very limited scope. But now with ServiceNow data coming into Snowflake through the connector, and for us to leverage the data from all these other four vec you know, vectors that I mentioned, and having a score that comes out of it, um, it's really allowing us to prioritize 
which applications are really providing the right value for Snowflake and how do we want to take these applications to a whole different level? You know, we're just scratching the surface here and I know the audience is going to be eager to learn more and, and really dive more into the details. How can they learn more about this? Yeah, so look, we have both of these uh, applications in production today. Um, we are going to do a webinar. We are going to uh, have these webinars coming up soon. I would highly encourage the audience to sign up for these webinars. And then we'll also um, have good amount of documentation that could be served as a kit that would be a self-service kit that you know, we can um, provide to customers or to our partners to take that, have the building blocks, and actually build the, the applications themselves. Sonny, such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Again, we covered a lot. ServiceNow Connector for Snowflake, leveraging Streamlit, Snow UX app, Snow Pulse app. I mean, it's not, it's not slowing down anytime soon, Sonny. Yeah, look, I mean, um, again, as I mentioned in the introduction, the wealth of information that's sitting in these SaaS applications, like ServiceNow, powered through our connector, visualizing through Streamlit, and then having built these applications are giving us so much insights to improve employee experience through Snow UX and further the rationalization that we need to do for our applications through Snow Pulse uh, is really driving incredible outcomes for the company and I highly encourage the audience to take advantage of the connector, highly encourage the audience to really unleash the wealth of information that's sitting in service now and correlate that with other sources that require, you know, to drive the right outcomes for your organization. So um, thank you for having me over. You know, Sonny, safe to say with all the innovations that's coming out of Snowflake, should we just book the same time next month? Absolutely, let's do it. Sonny, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. For the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. We'll see you soon. Thank you.